Hi guys, how you doing? So, at the beginning of every video, this will be implanted. Implanting things of how I'm trying to uh, dive deep into your subconscious memory. Okay, so tarot cards and stuff will start soon, but if people could literally please leave a timestamp below, so people can, when they see the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, if they've seen it, you can skip through it and then go to the reading, okay? But I very much would appreciate just a moment of your time. So one thing that I really do offer, and it's had great feedback, but it's constant it's constant stuff that comes to me okay so i'm going to teach you about a lot about vi vocabulary but a flare a flare but to focus to focus your energy and direct it to where you're truly supposed to be going of where i can dive deeper into your subconscious memory to literally trigger off the responses of where you find responsibility for one's own actions, okay? Now, a lot of this might seem very kind of physical, but it's physical and metaphysical. It's how we deal things with things in the actual physical that lead to the 3D response of time, which is still time, okay? It's the time of separation that you take where people can take from your subconscious memory and why that is so important and things that people are missing, okay? Because you end up missing in action and not realizing why retrograde still brings the same lesson around again when you think that you've got it, but then someone comes back for round three. 3D, okay, so why it happens in the 3D, because it's an energy tear and an energy flare of physics and also metaphysics, but it's also the response of a flare, so you can have a flare up, flare up and a tear up, but if you have a flare up and a tear up, you're tearing the time space continuum of the seven chakras that run through your body, so this is a lot of stuff that I will teach people about metaphysical and connection of where people still drain your energy psychically. So psychically, it's still projecting forward a focus of where I can focus my energy on your DNA coding system of obviously like the matrix, and it will break down that coding for me that will give it to me to give it to you. It triggers a response. What I've learned through a lot of these Skype call consultations is terms and conditions. It's where there is a term and there's a condition, but there's a condition that's pulled from me that gives it to you. Normally when I speak and I channel, I'm pulling it from you and it's an energy exchange, okay? It's, it's an exchange. So when we learn about energy exchange, it triggers off a response where I can figure out where your coding is of where people are going wrong, okay? But that also pulls it out from me where I learn just as much from you as what you do me. Because sometimes when I'm channeling, it gives you information that is also unlocking those secrets and those depths, depths of desire through Pandora's box. But the depths of desire of all the secrets that are locked away within the subconscious, it pulls them from me to actually give you a response of something that I didn't know myself. So it gives you the information as well as it gives me. So thank you, <laughs> you know, thank you. So I do really much appreciate that because all the people that have returned and people that I deal with on a physical level have had so much great response through how they're now responding to their own subconscious memory because it's fine tweaking your actual your own matrix system of where it will learn uh, hopefully teach you to focus your energy more on the sweet spot where you're unlocking the desire of pandora's box pandora's box does not hold one secret it holds many okay but that is locked and it's not locked down here it's locked in the subconscious memory okay so you will see things appear cards towards the end and it will give you another kind of affirmation or another thing of where I also kind of explain the same kind of thing but slightly differently but the client consultation of Skype calls and other things the exchange of empaths is so important of where trust me you are really missing the secret you're missing the secret and that's why I thought I would leave this on at the beginning for people because it's so important of the first step of what they're really missing and when they go away and you form the separation of oneself is where you end up coming back round for another fight and where it still comes back round as of another lesson with someone else because of a lot to do with what blame is but people think that blame is where you're just physically blaming someone 
there's a lot more depth to it than that. Trust me, there really, really is. But a lot of these secrets and stuff that I give to people will uh, require homework too, but it will give me a lot to give back to you, you know. So there's an exchange of, but um, it really will unlock those secrets of where people are seeking for the answer. It will give you the answer. Trust me, it will put you on your path much, much, much quicker, much quicker. So also over on Patreon, you might find some of these videos in tear where we tear up and we have tier two. Tier two is still a teaching segment that I offer certain videos as well, but there are certain things that I will only do in Skype consultations. Now a Skype consultation is just an equally and vitally important more because uh, what I'm saying it helps me hit that spot of where you can't find it that's why i dive into your subconscious memory that helps it dive into my subconscious memory that reflects it back from me to you from me to you from me to you and we form a quality of a connection that is pulling secrets from me to give it to you and the secrets from you of where i can explore your dark side for you <laughs> scorpio ascendant but it pulls that dark side where I can explore your dark side of your subconscious memory that's here that pulls and draws the focus around so you can more focus on oneself of what we say. But self-worth comes in many forms, many, many forms that people miss. OK, but it will help you focus more on your third eye because people empathically, psychically pull from your third eye that pull you directly to focus it on them. That's the, that's the main part of what you miss. So I can help you balance your vision and help you balance your third eye that will draw balance back to you. It will draw what's meant for you back to you, okay? And to me, okay? So that's something that I offer. Libra, how are you getting on? So we are, me and Dave, and also me and my greatest fan, my spirit guide Dave, we are back now to do your September. How are you getting on, Libra? So, um, sorry about the intro, I know it was long, but uh, they are proven to be very good for a lot of clients that I'm uh, doing that technique with, uh, and it's really working. So, uh, if you would like to reach out, links are all below and above and all this kind of stuff. But i got a song for you, Libra. James Lawson, <coughs> wasn't expecting that. It was only a smile, but my heart, it went wild, and I wasn't expecting that. You could be dealing with the Pisces, maybe. Wasn't expecting that. But let's see, so Libra... Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or a delay in something, maybe. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Libra for September. So you've got Scorpio, so a lot of you Libras could have Scorpio in your chart. Uh, Venus, probably. Um, but the Hermit, you could have Virgo in your chart also, or you are dealing with a Virgo, but you might have ended something with a Virgo. Okay, sorry about the camera, but you might have ended something with a Virgo. Um, but because it, it's back to back, you see, this is also can be uh, mild depression, but depression, it just means vibration. It means that, that we always find an answer in the dark. OK, Libra, we always find it because we always have to find a way out of something. So the universe works off a lot of energy of dark and light. OK, it can also mean Pisces, too, because uh, it's the opposite end of the scale. But a fall and a new beginning is also dark and light. So zero would also represent Pisces and uh, Virgo. OK, um, so you could have that in your chart somewhere. But basically, there's something that's ended, something that's ended. It could have been with a Scorpio, okay? But there could be a new beginning with a Scorpio. You see, this is dark and light, dark and light, a lot of it. A lot of, um, a lot of, it might not be depression. It could just be the fact that just things are real heavy at the moment. You just see things as just like heavy. It's just a heavy energy. It's a dark energy that's a roaming, roaming like it's roaming, it's like wandering, it's like, hmm, I'm curious, now something's ended, there's got to be a new beginning, so what's this new beginning going to feel like, you know, um, but you could be headed towards a Scorpio, you see, with either end of the scale, through things that end in life, okay, when you find alignment, you find your path, it's finding a new path is what I'm feeling, like it's coming out of the dark, because both of these represent dark, okay, but that's dark and this is dark but it's finding your way out it's finding the light of day again yeah it could be a gemini something rising or venus finding your way out of like oppression can also like it's because it's oppression or depression but either way it's like depression it's like a a bottle top like poof, just ready to just like something just happened like poof. <laughs> something happened a magician come into my life and explain something um 
but something said it could be a Taurus because that would represent also a marriage Taurus there or an old commitment or an old marriage so it's like moving away from something that was standing in your way a block also a, a energy block being blocked but that's that's also a job you see the Hierophant always represents a five okay so that means like family society wherever you're working everything like that it might be like where there are oppressive energies around you, where you're like, oh, Jesus Christ, will you just smile? <laughs> will you just smile? It was only a smile, but my heart went wild. I wasn't expecting that. So, like, what I'm picking up, it's like people around you just might not even know how to smile. It's like, because Libras are generally really happy. So it's like, don't worry, be happy. <laughs> don't worry, be happy. So this can be you or them or people. Like I said, five can represent the children the workplace the environment it's all stuff where you're picking up energy of like uh like a, a oppressive feeling of having to continue on on your path anyway so trying to find your way out of that seems to be like oh for god's sake what is wrong with these people <laughs> Libra. <laughs> let's see so Libra, something running Venus for september there you go what do you know it's the fall it's Pisces or Virgo, this is a new beginning, this is a date, this is a new person. So I feel that something could have ended, even if you've got these in your chart anywhere. I think that you've ended things, Libra, like karmically, majorly, 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 because all these three are major arcana cards. But these are all dark here, and like I said, light, but dark, but a new beginning, a fresh like outlook in life, and like nice and breezy, <laughs> nice and breezy. Nice and easy, easy breezy, a new beginning. This is like, wow, I wonder what's going to happen now on my new path, on my new journey, completely with this new person. Now, if you're interested in the old person, I think that that would keep you stuck generally through these energies. I really do. I, I think that you're moved on. You're moving on, I think. It's like moving on. Because I think that whatever was standing between you and a, an ex relationship or partnership through the Hierophant, I think that... If you had children or you've got children, okay, so say if you've got children with an ex-partner, I feel that that is pulling you backwards, you see, through, like, <clears throat> it was just something that ended and it's now, I don't think it's the same person. I feel like it's stuck in the middle with you, meaning, like, you've, you've got children uh, and in order to release all that, you know that you've got to find someone new, okay? So there we go. Or something new, or a new job, or a new... Something that makes you feel in alignment. This is alignment, because it's still 11-11. It's the dark and the light. You've got uh, a lot of align, aligning to do. Your energy needs aligning. It needs a reset. Now, if a lot of you are going to look into, which is going to a spiritual retreat, that's possible. But if you look into meditation, there's a hell of a lot more to alignment. Trust me, it all starts from the mind. If you're, you, There's different ways of meditating. There really is. I'm not going to push my thing. But uh, there's a process that really works because you can meditate from your mind. That's what I'm saying. You can naturally do things from your mind. Naturally. There's a process that you can do, but when you start this process and it works... You can do all that from your mind, literally, without meditating. It's good to meditate, but you can. But generally, anyway, it's moving on. There was a song by someone else that was moving on as well, that I'd done. By Jet. Uh, that was, um, that was uh, the card that you had, Gemini, moving on. Well, I'm thinking about the future. It's too young to pretend it's such a waste to always look behind you. You should be looking straight ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move on before we meet again. Yes, yeah, it's hard, but don't be afraid of me. Yeah, that's a good song. Don't be afraid of me. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to move on or, or them or whoever. Don't be afraid of me. Because it might be a scared energy also of approaching this new beginning, but this new person also could have Scorpio in their chart as well. Pisces or Pisces or uh, Gemini or Virgo. Um, 
but I think like it's a new beginning but so there might be like a, a bit of a like oh it's like a, a churning feeling of new because don't be afraid of me yes I'll continue on this story September, continue on this story. So you go, then thinking, aha, now I've got this new option, this new path. Talking, thinking, weighing up your options, what Libra would do. You've got something new, weighing up my options. There you go, so there's something new. So you've got a block, there's your block. So if you're still in, so Tarot cards, they can never say that this is your love partner or whatever. This, because love partner is love. The love for money, the love for people, the love for your children, the love for your family, the love you show yourself, and the love and respect that you show others that give it back to you, okay? So this a tarot card reading, really, where people say to you, oh, it's all about your love partner. It's not possible. It's really not. Um, so... You go from a two to a four, which is like, mm, really contemplating. Shall I open up to this new person here? Open up. But I might still be guarded. But there's something to be learned because you've got six, the six of pentacles. Okay. So this is uh, still Pisces. Pisces or, or it's secrets about Virgo or a secret that's being held. But this is the all seeing eye. This is someone that already knows. So this is like a date or like a new person or a child or it's a child that has a gift or someone that has a gift. This is a gift that someone's given to someone. So it's either a message or a gift or your child's gifted or it's a date or it's a message or someone is like literally spiritually gifted. Which is you or them or your children or there is secrets about a child also. There might be secrets about a child that someone might want to take or fear that they're going to be taken from something. It could be a job or a person. They fear that something's going to be taken or that there's a lot of responsibility and it might be blocking you by worry, which could relate to, which could relate to a low vibration of worry. Now, if it's a job and you want a new job, you've got to open up in order to express. Because it might even be that you might have children or an ex-relationship and you feel stuck in the middle of it and that you're not being able to move forward, but you can. It, well, I mean, I suppose it depends on, on your lives. But you've got an opportunity here of also a new person for people here. Six of Pentacles is obviously people that work for public service, like a checkout or a bank, you know, caring and sharing. So that would also represent co-parenting between one and another, you know, or someone giving more to one or giving more to the other. So it is a quality, but it's either not a quality, it's either going in favor or out favor. So it's kind of like this here, balancing work, people, jobs, this old relationship. If it is the family members, it's wearing and tearing of having to go between those and to go between here. So that could represent your work because it's pentacles and like it's still um, weighing up options. But then you've got this new project or this new person or this new thing also probably going as well. Now, if you have been dealing with a Pisces in general anyway, you've got, it's like two Pisces and two lots of Virgo. This sometimes is Virgo and this sometimes is, Pi well, this is Pisces. This is sometimes like Virgo. This is Pisces and Virgo, and this is Virgo. Because zeros represent dark and light, see, after the awakening, after that there's a zero where God, after the day of rest, gave you the opportunity of life to start a new fresh beginning with the universe to say what you're gonna do, okay? So that represents dark and light. The two fish, Virgo, the pole was dark and light. So it's kind of like, um, I've got all this family stuff going on. I've got a new job probably or possible that I want to do. I'm getting worn out and trying to divide my time when time really works for you when you work in time, okay? 
you don't have to work for time when you're in alignment with something that you're really really good at and that makes you feel really happy and positive and vibracious because you're in alignment with it so you realize that you do it for free so time actually works more in your favor linear so it might be trying to balance and juggle like this new person possibly for some of you children project also work so we'll look into that because that might be advice on the other side on, on how to work through it to use this as an advice. But there's a vice, you see. Like, this is good for money because it's saving. It's saving. Because that still represents, like, saving banks and money and stuff. Saving each, each penny that you have. But it's leading to where you're overdoing things because you've got a lot on, I would say. I would say that this is also part of just an energy. Because that could also be part of your rising sign, you'll see. Or your, as your ascending, descending. Some of you have, is your descending sign. Because this is what's happened, you see. Here is what's happened. So some of you have got a Virgo descending, so you would have a, a Pisces ascending for some of you. Ascending sign in Pisces, a descending sign in Virgo. So if you've got a descending sign in Virgo, something's happened where it's ended, you, either end of the scale. Something new is about to begin. Begin could be a newborn child for some of you. Some of you have lost someone though, or something. Or you want to give something up. It's like giving it up. Give up the ghost is what I heard. Give up the ghost. Give up the ghost. Some of you could have contracted dark energy around where you work and stuff. People pass karma. That is something that I dive deep into your subconscious memory and a great discussion that I've had with a lot of clients and it blows people's minds. And it even blows my mind because more comes out. You see Pandora's box, the secrets. Now, when people say about the moon that someone's hiding something from you, it's the same as this card. It is. It's hiding it from you. You're hiding it. You know, suppression. Suppression, oppression that we do. You know, so we realise that what we give out is what we get back. So, um, I think that there's something that you need to know or that you know is ended, but I think that you pick up this dark contract of where you're contracted within your karma, but also your work and in your environment and whatever it is that's happening, if you feel at a low vibration, it's because you work for general public, which we all do, but if you work in the public, or if you don't work at all, it might be because you want to find a job, but you're just stuck. But if you do, it's because you've contracted some kind of energy that needs clearing, because you're blocking, you're, you're suppressing it down and it's not coming out, you see? So it stops your actual future, because this would be future. So you have to learn to let things go, to let things in, you see? Because what was the song? I Take a chance on me. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Yeah, so we're going to go over to the other side, Libra, and see what these are about. But you've got a lot of major arcanas. So I need to really know what these are about. Uh, but we're going to draw another card, and then we're going to clarify all these to see what they're about. Uh, all of the links will start to show in the corners. You can either join Patreon or you can watch it in your monthly folder for on Vimeo, okay? Or you can reach out for personal reading. But we'll clarify all these and see what the story entails. And it really does show a different story. This is just a YouTube story. How things play out. And it still won't relate to everybody. <laughs> Everybody's got different signs and different things going on. It's if, a, if one particular message really hits you on here, that's the message that you reach out for a personal reading or you just stay tuned for that specific message. You know, it doesn't, it's not going to be your whole life and it's going to happen to one thing. It's just not possible because it's a general reading. Okay, guys, so hopefully see you on the other side. Let's see what it's about. Okay, Libra, peace.